So I'm going to start by cutting the pepper. I'm going to cut it in half first of all. Um, I'm just going to take out the top section and then you can rip the rest out because it's really quite soft. Give it a bang to remove the seeds. And because this is an investigation, as long as they're sort of similar in size, um, that's what you need to do. Don't need to be too precise. So I have it downwards. I'm going to use the bridge technique first of all just to cut in half. Half again. And I think probably about that sort of size chunks will be sufficient. Okay, now because I'm going to be um, testing three different ways of heat transfer, I'm just going to divide them into sort of three sort of piles. Okay, just for testing. Okay. So I've put a saucepan of water onto boil. Um, I've put a little bit of oil in the bottom of a frying pan uh, with the peppers. I'm going to turn that on in a minute. And I've put the other third of the peppers in a roasting tin that I'm going to put in the, um, in the oven, but I'm going to put it under the grill. So I'm going to start by doing that. Preheat the grill. So probably cook it for the same amount of time, just about five, so just over five minutes. Okay, so that's obviously radiation. So when the water is boiling, I'm going to place the peppers in and set a timer for about five minutes of cooking time. All right, so they've gone in the same time as ones in the oven. I'm now going to put the, the frying pan on and cook those. Okay, so for about just over five, five minutes and then we're going to see um, what they're like afterwards. So I cooked them just over five minutes really, just sort of kept an eye on them. Um, so we can see how, how they've done. Okay, let's start with the, the radiation one, so from the oven. So I didn't add anything into the pan. You'll notice that they've gone a bit charred on top. Um, you can see here, so they've gone black a little bit, they're soft. shiny before when they were quite hard when it was a raw whereas this is really quite sort of flimsy very soft okay so that's the radiation the convection so the one that was boiling in water let me just place them in my pot obviously very soggy they've absorbed a lot of the water the water actually has turned a little bit orange obviously because it's an orange pepper um, and actually, some of the nutrients have disappeared uh, because it was being boiled. So if you can see there, okay, if you can change, change in colour, they don't seem, the skin doesn't seem to be as orange as the other ones. So they've lost a bit of colour. They are still quite soft. They're flimsy like the other ones. Um, very watery. As you can see, you can squeeze water out of it. Okay. And the last one was the one... Um, on conduction, so the a uh, little bit of oil in there. Um, so again, just like the one in the oven under the grill, it's char grilled. It's, absor it's absorbed the oil that was there. I only put a little bit of oil in there. It, it's kept its sort of orange skin. Again, it's soft. When I squeeze it, there isn't any sort of natural waters come out of it. So obviously, there's a lot more water in this one. Um, if you do get a chance to do this, you don't have to do it with pepper, you could do it with a courgette, you can do it with any sort of vegetable um, that doesn't take long to cook. And then what you can then do is I then want you to taste it because when you um, evaluate it, don't just do it based on appearance. If you do get a chance, then you can taste it. If you compare it to taste, if you keep, I what I should have done was kept a little bit of the pepper um, when it was raw, if I just take a little bit off here, look. So you've actually got something to compare it to. So that was the raw pepper. Taste the raw pepper and then compare it to the radiation, convection and conduction, okay, in order to complete your investigation. So you want to see how um, the different heat transfers affect um, food, okay? So if you do get in charge of that, take some photographs and send them to me. Um, be interesting to see what you discover, especially if you use a different vegetable with that.
okay